Drag is an aerodynamic force that acts parallel to and in the direction of the relative airflow and opposes the aircraft's forward motion. This lesson only considers drag in conjunction with lift, as drag is dealt with in detail later in the syllabus. As with other aerodynamic forces, drag forces can be expressed in the form of a coefficient, which is independent of dynamic pressure and surface area. Drag is the product of dynamic pressure, drag coefficient and surface area. The drag coefficient, CD, being the ratio of drag per unit wing area to dynamic pressure. If the CD of a representative wing were to be plotted against angle of attack, alpha, the result would typically be a curve as shown on the screen. At low alphas, CD is low and changes of alpha produce only small changes in CD. At higher alphas, however, the CD increase is exponential. Beyond the stalling or critical angle of attack at CL max, there is a further large increase in CD. The efficiency of the production of lift can be gauged from studying the ratio between lift and drag, a high lift-drag ratio being more efficient. The proportions of CL and CD can be calculated for any angle of attack. The graph on the screen shows that the lift-drag ratio increases up to a maximum at about 4 degrees, which is known as the optimum angle of attack. Above this angle of attack, the lift-drag ratio then decreases until CL max is reached. You should note that the plots of lift, drag and lift drag ratio shown on this graph are to different scales, and thus the points of intersection of the curves are of no particular significance. The maximum lift drag ratio, LD max, of a given aerofoil section will occur at one specific angle of attack, and if the aircraft is operated in steady level flight at this optimum angle of attack, it will generate the least possible drag for the amount of lift required. Any angle of attack higher or lower than that required for LD max will reduce the lift drag ratio and will thus increase the drag for the required lift. If an aircraft's weight changes, it will still be possible to achieve LD max at the same angle of attack as previously but a change in weight requires a change in IAS to support the weight to the same angle of attack. The lower the weight, the lower the IAS required to stay at the LD max angle of attack, and vice versa. Changes in weight in a given configuration, or airframe contamination state, or at speeds below Mach 0.4, will not change LD max. The type of role an aircraft is designed for will, to a large extent, dictate the range of lift drag ratios in which its LD max will fall. For example, a high performance sailplane or glider will have an LD max between 25 and 60. For an airliner, it will be from 12 to 20. And for a single piston trainer, from 10 to 15. To sum up the main points about lift-drag ratio, it will be at its maximum at one specific angle of attack, known as the optimum angle of attack. This is typically about 4 degrees. Flight at any other angle of attack will give a lower lift-drag ratio, with more drag for the lift required. Changes in weight in a given configuration or airframe contamination state or at speeds below Mach 0.4, will not change LD max.